Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Kodigo Maven. So our today's topic is how to convert classic pages or wiki pages to SharePoint modern pages. So let's start. So today we will see we will create a classic page or a wiki page on modern SharePoint site. We will see how the look and feel, feel is different from uh, the modern SharePoint sites over there. And then we will see how we can um, convert it into a modern uh, SharePoint page. Okay, so let's start. So here I have opened a uh, Windows Partial IEC. HTTPS Co maps in uh, SharePoint sites test team site. It's a modern SharePoint site. Uh, this is the modern SharePoint site. I will go to site contents, site pages. I see there is only one page uh, present here. If I click to the page, this is the home page. This is a modern page. How this is how a modern page looks like. Uh, the nav bar and the fonts. You can see how it is looking. You will be seeing different web parts added by default on the home home page. Uh, so this is how a modern page looks like. Now if I go to site contents, site pages. And now I'll create a classic page. So uh, wiki page and classic page both are the same. So when I click on create a wiki page, it will create a classic page for me. So let's name it as classic page. Create. This is a classic page. Sorry. Save and publish. So see, this is how a classic page looks like. You can see the look and feel over here. So now if I go back to my site, So I can see the classic page I have just the wiki page I have just created is there. Let's click on it again. So see this is how the classic page looks like. And this is how a modern page looks like. So let's convert this classic page to a modern page. So this line of code basically is getting the site pages library into the pages variable. Here I am just uh, writing in the IEC PowerShell IEC console. That pages are getting fetched and let's start the modernization. You will see here so that we get uh, the information that the watch is going on with our script. Where is our script? Then I have this whole code written over here. I didn't want to waste time in typing. That's why I have copied and pasted uh, the code from elsewhere uh, from my notepad. But I will explain the code to you. This is the forage function from the pages library. All the pages are coming here. So dollar page is the first page from the pages library. So in the pages library we saw that we have two pages right now one is home.aspx and one is the classic page.aspx home.aspx is already a modern page so this code will evaluate that that the uh, that a page is modern or not if it is a modern page it will skip and if it is a classic page then only it will convert it to a modern page so this is what uh, here i am getting the page name from the file leaf ref attribute then I am checking over here if the page uh, so uh, every page is uh, associated with a client side application ID if the client side application ID is this 
that means this this is a static one guys so if um, you can hard code it over here so if the client side application id is this this means that uh, it is a site page or a modern page so we are writing uh, this page is modern so no need to modernize modernize it again and we skip it if it is not a modern modern page then we go to this else block and we are writing that processing this page whatever is the page name in our case it will be the classic page dot spx and this is the main line of code this is the main line of code where the actual conversion is happening so the <clears throat> command uh, that converts the classic page to modern pages convert to pnp client side page identity i am giving the file name so our now our modern page will be classic page dot aspx and our wiki page will be renamed as previous underscore classic page dot aspx it will be a classic page only but our modern page will be renamed as classic page dot aspx I hope I could explain it to you um, anyway. So we will see once the code is run. And it, it just keeps the metadata associated with this page intact, the writer name, the modification time and everything. So this is it. So after this code runs, uh, I'm just writing one sentence that we keep page and work part page modernization has been completed. So let's run the code before just see how our site content uh, site pages library is looking right now All pages so we have a home page and then we have a classic page okay so let's run it So you can say pages are fetched let's start the modernization it is saying home page dot aspx is modern no need to modernize modernize it again and it is processing the page classic page dot aspx it is giving the you know, path of that page and lastly that page has been converted so it is uh, showing wiki and web part modernization has been completed so now you can see this is the uh, modern page which has been created from the wiki page so wiki page has been renamed as previous underscore classic dot aspx uh, because i have written this part of code over here and the modern page has been renamed to classic dot aspx so let's open the wiki page first so you can see the it is the classic page the wiki page is still there uh, and it just has been renamed as previous dot classic classic previous underscore classic page and now we can see uh, from this page this new page has been created so if i click on it yes you can see this is the classic page no, uh, this is the classic page or wiki page which I showed in the classic page body. Okay, so you can see the difference between the classic page and the mod page created over here. So yes, guys, that is it. You, if if you guys feel uh, face any difficulty doing this. Uh, uh, so you can write me in the comment section below i will be trying to solve those issues for you guys or if you could also mention if you have successfully if you could successfully do this so it will be a i will take it as an appreciation and i'll be motivated enough to make this kind of videos in future so thank you so much have a nice day bye